Okay, this is a follow-up video to our free pick from last night, PFG. Uh, let's see. We, let me zoom in a little bit here. We said that we would take this uh, if it got up in the 2608 area. These are uh, daily candles, um, only 13 days on this chart here. 2586 was the high of today, so it never did get near our 2608 trigger, which uh, made it a no-brainer, so that was a no-trade. Um, it really didn't have too many highlights from today. If I had to pick a... Um, Oh, a shining star from today would be SD. Okay, we put this on watch because it was so strong on Friday, uh, but it had made such a big move that, um, you know, that we didn't want to call it on a break of Friday's high at 1091. It just seemed like it was extended from its lows on Friday of 940. So what we did was we just put it on long watch because of its strength uh, to see if we could find a low-risk entry. And uh, it did give us a pretty good one here. It um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the base better. Let's go three minute candles so I can show you what we were looking at early. Okay, these are the first, these are opening candles, and this is what we was, were seeing early when we made the call. Okay, an initial pop to right here to 1130 and then a sideways action. Okay, so when we saw this, we said, you know, if this breaks this candle here, 1121, um, so 1122 trigger should get through 11.30 and maybe continue that breakout from Friday, okay? So let's zoom out now, and you can see right here is where it triggered, 11.22. Uh, worst case stop down here, 10.95, so about 25 cent risk, uh, 27 cent risk. A little bit bigger than we usually like, but if, as you can see, after the 11.22 trigger, remember these are five minute candles, just two or three minute, three candles later, which is about 15 minutes later, um, we're up above the high of the day cleanly and break even stop. Uh, we do teach our members to sell into a pop and uh, you know sell part of your trade and then go to a break even stop as soon as possible. So two or three candles later, um, this thing you could have gone to 11.22 stop on the back half and not had to worry about it. Look away, go trade other things, knowing that you're safe, you've taken some money off the table, and worst case, you got a break even stop on the back half. So SD did pretty well. Um, and from 11.22, it ultimately went pretty quickly to 11.87, and that's a nice percentage gain, guys, for, you know, 30 to 45 minute. Um, I think that was, uh, yeah, definitely less than an hour trade, so um, real nice gainer there. And I will follow up and show you more about this chart. Big two-day pop here, up near recent resistance, so I'm not looking to trade it again, um, you know, tomorrow for a breakout because it's come too far in a short period. However, when you go to the one-year chart, let me try that again. When you go to the one-year chart, um, see this right around 12. These these highs around uh, 1182 there. What did it hit here? 1184. Um, we can even throw a line there for you. It is very interesting over that area, okay? But like I said, it's come too far too fast. I'd like to see it consolidate for a while. But I think this deserves to be on people's radar uh, for a while, okay? Um, this had a high of 50, 51.39 back in, uh, oh, last summer, the middle of last summer, last July, so, um, you know, less than a year ago, or I should say a little over a year ago, but uh, that is uh, certainly a stock that has room to move, okay? So this one needs to be on watch, but uh, short term, I'm hoping we get a little bit of a rest or a pullback. And we may be looking to catch that again. But nice trade for the day. Um, and then we had a bunch of little stuff. So nothing really to write home about. Um, it was kind of a boring day. If I switch to five-minute candles here, uh, you can see we took out our early highs. And then the market uh, kind of rolled over and took out the lows. Then bounced up to the middle of the day and just kind of meandered most of the afternoon. So um, there weren't too many great opportunities. And as you know, we only focus on low-risk stuff. So uh, SD did comply today with this 1121 trigger. And a nice little pop there. Uh, PFG, let me go back to that real quick. Go to the daily. Um, I have a feeling this might just go sideways for a while, but I still think it's worth watching uh, in the near term. Okay, it's certainly it kind of into breakout territory, but it also depends on what the market does. So we'll try to send out another free pick or two this week because I know we owe you a few. Um, we're going to wrap this up, and we'll see everybody, or we'll send out another free pick, uh, hopefully within the next couple of days. Have a great night.